Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, well, it's morning here in Guam. I'm not sure if it's afternoon, evening, night at where you are. But um, it is 9.14 a.m. April 6th in Guam right now. Anyways, I just wanted to share um, a dream I had last night. It wasn't about the rapture or anything like that. But um, I believe it pertains to um, our Christian uh, walk and the church globally. And it rings true to my spirit and my experiences in um, visiting, um, fellowshipping with different churches um, across the globe, really, uh, from the United States um, all the way down to other nations like Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, and now Guam. And for the last 15, 16 years, um, you know, I've been hungry and um, passionate about seeking um, fellowship uh, and worship, corporate worship with the body of Christ um, from Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, you know, everywhere really, wherever um, I went. Um, I usually look for uh, a church to fellowship with because I believe that uh, Christ died and gave his body for his bride and the church, the true church of God is the body and, and the bride of Christ. Well anyways, um, let me stop rambling and um, before I share this dream I wanted to share uh, scriptures. Um, these scriptures with you real quick. Um, I have to read it out because I can't remember it word for word. In Joel 2.28, you know, it says, And afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. And um, in Acts 5.32, it says, We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. And then Proverbs 1.23 says, Repent at my rebuke, then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. My dream last night was um, about me and my husband um, visiting um, some church. I'm not sure where. It, was, it had a huge congregation. And as usual, um, I walk in this church um, and all the churches you know, with with eagerness and um, excitement and passion, looking forward to um, corporate worship with um, other believers. I was ready and on fire, ready to worship God. And um, shortly after we arrived, um, you know, the choir came up, and the choir was made up of um, you know people of different ages, and um, some of them were young ladies. Um, you know, teenagers to early 20s or something. And what's strange about this church and people in the choir, um, many of them uh, wore some very sexy, um, sex, sexy, where did that come from? <laughs> sexy, um, skimpy um, clothing, like little tube tops, you know, to cover their chest and Daisy Duke shorts and mini skirts and things like that, and everybody's just going about their business, you know, um, fellowshipping, having a great time. And then the choir began to sing, worship began, and um, the young ladies up there um, with their little skimpy outfit began to dance as though they were dancing to like um, some type of rock concert or um, you know at nightclubs. Um, you know, before I got saved, that's what I did. I frequent uh, many nightclubs and dress in that way and um, just uh, foolishly going about my business, um, you know, getting drunk and um, doing foolish things. Um, but anyways, back to the dream. The ladies were just dancing all seductively like they were at um, dance clubs and strip clubs. And I watched in in horror. I was just like, this can't be happening. This is the house of the Lord. I do not see the Spirit of God here. I don't sense His Spirit here. 
I was just mortified. Um, I was blown away. I was shocked. And I was grieved. I wasn't judging them. Just my jaw dropped. My heart was hurting. I was grieving in my spirit because, you know, the church was there to proclaim Christ, to proclaim His gospel. And I was there to worship the Lord and what I saw was not of God. So I grieved in my spirit. Deeply, and um, after church, I sought out the pastor, and um, I I felt moved. I had to go talk to him. I, I wanted to know what was that all about. What is this? Um, this is the house of the Lord. I don't understand. And I didn't go pointing fingers and accusing him. I was just really heartbroken. I was really sad. And um, and I felt that it was very grieving to the Holy Spirit. Um, so I went and asked some questions and wanted to see what, you know, if this was how this will continue or will he, I don't know. I don't remember what I said in my dreams, but I do remember this. Um, the pastor was not willing to make any changes. Um... He wasn't willing to preach the truth. Um, I think he was afraid that it may rock their comfort zone, and you know, because it's a huge church and um, lots of programs, surely lots of money going through it. And I also remember um, his associate pastors, his um, associate minister, whatever you call him. He was very angry. He was hostile towards me he mocked me he was ugly and um i didn't fight with them um i just turned around and began to leave just knowing that i could not fellowship there and before i could even get out of the room the associate pastor was mocking me loudly and i heard him and it broke my